Next, we are going to discuss on the formation of pi bond. Pi bond is formed when the orbital overlap side to side or side sideways overlapping. Here is the example when dumbbell overlap side to side. A pi bond has electron density concentrated above and below the plane of the nuclei. As a result, a pi bond is weaker than a sigma bond. First, we look at to the formation of pi bond which is occurs in molecule with a double bond. We take oxygen gas molecule as an example. Oxygen atom has six valence electron and there are two unpaired electron located at two p orbital. The shape of this orbital is dumbbell. So it means the two oxygen atom will share the two electron to reach the octet configuration. The first electron in 2p orbital will overlap end to end and become sigma bond. And the second electron in 2p orbital will overlap side to side, become pi bond. As a conclusion, oxygen gas will have a double bond. The first bonding form is a sigma bond and the second bond is a pi bond. Next, we look at, at how pi bond occurs in molecule that has triple bond. We take nitrogen gas molecule as an example. Nitrogen atom has five valence electron, and there are three unpaired electron located at two p orbitals. The shape of this orbital is dumbbell, so it means two nitrogen atom will share the three electron to reach the octet configuration. The first electron in 2p orbital will overlap end to end and become sigma bond. The second electron in 2p orbital will overlap sideways and become pi bond. The third electron in 2p orbital will overlap sideways and become pi bond. As a conclusion, nitrogen gas will have triple bond. One is a sigma bond, the other two is a pi bond. So that's all. Thank you for listening.